some storms across West Michigan today, but George, it doesn't look like you're getting uh, rained on outside on the weather deck. <laughs> And is that going to continue into the weekend, Jordan? What do you think? Uh, no storms this weekend. That is the great news. We do have some storms northeast of Grand Rapids and a few developing east of GR, but here in Holland, Muskegon, Grand Rapids, we're probably going to be free and clear for the evening. There might be one late tonight, but let's take a look at where the thunderstorms still are, where there is a severe thunderstorm warning until 545 for uh, portions of northern and eastern Macosta County. This is around the Rodney area, Barrington. Uh, the reason why the warning was issued that is this area right in through here, uh, just uh, south of Rodney and well to the east of Rodney. Now uh, there has been uh, some rotation indicated by the radar and you can see that showing up on the radar as that moves off to the east and that will move completely out of the area here in the next half an hour. 13 weather ball for Grand Rapids is green. No change to the more humid and warm weather foreseen. It's also blinking bright. We still have an early evening shower or a thunderstorm in sight. The 13 Weather Ball is sponsored by LaFontaine Lincoln Grand Rapids. And around the area, we've seen partly cloudy skies with an occasional dark spot in the sky because of those showers and storms. But along the lakeshore from Grand Haven, a nice 78 degrees, lots of sunshine there. Even saw a kite surfer early on. Temperatures have warmed up into the 80s, currently 81 now in Grand Rapids after a slow start to our temperatures. This is because a warm front has gone through the area and it's also brought up our dew points to near 70 here in Grand Rapids. So there's a lot of water in the air, a lot of moisture, a lot of energy. Now we're just looking for a boundary to kick that off. Dew points have climbed about five to as much as 20 degrees just in the past 24 hours. But these are where the storms are right Right now you can kind of see that line right in through here. That's where the lake influence and breeze has pushed that boundary inland. Uh, late tonight we may catch a shower or a storm out of these, but they'll be weakening as they come through between about two and four o'clock in the morning. Here's where the storms are headed tonight. Clear skies for the while. You see all those storms just falling apart as they come on through. We've got sunshine expected here tomorrow and lots of clear skies for the Perseid meteor shower here tomorrow night. And then on Sunday, we'll see just a few high clouds around, so we'll call it mostly sunny across the area. This is going to be Monday's system with some showers and thunderstorms moving through the area. Our daily precipitation will be mostly on Monday and again late Thursday night and into Friday. Those are the only really two chances of any meaningful rain across the area. Uh, temperature wise from the 17th through the 21st, this is the middle of the month. Uh, no fall like weather for a while. That's going to continue to warm up. We'll have high chances for warmer than average temperatures and we also have higher chances for less precipitation here in West Michigan. Now if you're heading out to Lake Michigan this evening there could be a late night shower or a thunderstorm two to three foot waves so just watch out it's a little choppy right at the beaches those winds will turn around to the northwest in the morning. So for tonight still a chance of a th shower or a thunderstorm mostly late tonight now 60 to 62 to the north and mid 60s from ho uh, Holland and Muskegon southward showers and thunder thunderstorms this evening and then perhaps one late tonight. Upper 50s along US 10, low 60s elsewhere. And here in the greater Grand Rapids area, overnight lows will be in the mid 60s. 13 on your side forecast. Humidity sticking around till Sunday morning. Back to some humid weather on Monday with the best chance of showers and storms. Next week, a little below average. Mid and upper 70s are average highs 82 right now. But warming up after that next weekend into the low and mid 80s the following week. Well, stargazers are excited about a big event happening this weekend, the Perseid Meteor Shower. If you keep your eye to the sky, you're going to get a chance to see a pretty amazing light show. The Grand Rapids Public Museum, for one, teaming up with Grand Rapids Amateur Astronomical Association to put together a little watch party of sorts at the Veer, uh, Bean Observatory excuse me, near Lowell. The event runs from 9 Saturday night until 4.30 Sunday morning. The Perseid meteor shower comes around every year, and that's because the Earth is moving in an orbit around the Sun, and every year we move uh, to intersect this debris field, and that debris field is actually the debris from a very famous comet called the Swift-Tuttle Comet. So uh, every year we move through it, and uh, the small particles, they collide with our atmosphere and light up, and it gives quite a show. And if you want to go and check this out, it costs $5 for adults and $2 for those under 18 years old. 
People are encouraged to bring blankets and or sleeping bags to enjoy a night under the stars. Sounds good. Yeah, it does sound good. And hey, conditions are looking pretty good to see that meteor shower. Isn't that right, George? Absolutely. My uh, colleague, the emeritus of the uh, planetarium, Dave DeBryant, emailed me and says, this is going to be fantastic. Skies are going to be clear and uh, we have a new moon, so there's mm -hmm. nothing to interfere. Yeah, this That's is going to be cool. a great Sounds good. No night. specific direction either, right? You can just kind of look around. Well, you look up to the northeast and that's uh, the where the uh, um, meteors seem to come from. It's called the radiant. So yeah, we got some great conditions coming up. How about the entire weekend? Let's take a look. 13 weather ball is green. No change to the warm temperatures foreseen. The 13 weather ball is sponsored by LaFontaine Lincoln Grand Rapids. It is also blinking bright. We do have a few scattered thunderstorms in sight, but uh, pretty clear in the meantime for Remington and Bodie and our dog walking forecast. Jennifer, going to give you the green paw here this evening. Just watch out for a late night storm, but I don't think these guys are going to be out at that time. Now there might be a lingering storm right around 8 o'clock in the morning, but I think that is going to be well to our east by this time. More sunshine tomorrow than we saw today 8.4 out of a 10 point scale to create green energy. Uh, winds will be up a little bit. I know they were a little breezy this afternoon, but they'll be a little breezy again tomorrow morning until the front moves off to the east of us. We did have some showers and storms this morning that was out ahead of a warm front that passed to the north and this afternoon along the lake breezes that came inland. You saw those storms, the heavier ones up in uh, northern Macosta County, still looking to see if there was any wind damage with any of those. We're tracking another area of storms back to our west up here in the portions of Wisconsin and Minnesota. These will be weakening uh, throughout the um, early morning hours, but they're going to strengthen in the meantime. So we'll keep an eye on those as they move on through. Here are the storms at the present time. Here are the storms that we'll be tracking coming through Minnesota. This is seven o'clock this evening. Pretty quiet and you can see our models are showing these are going to fall apart. So I don't even think that dog walking forecast is going to uh, pan on out. So lots of sunshine here Saturday, clear skies here Saturday night and on Sunday We've got lots of sunshine, but the next weather system will be coming in on Monday with some significant showers and thunderstorms. Long range outlook. This does not look like fall to me. High chances for warm temperatures across the entire U.S. and we have now higher chances for less rainfall during that seven day period. Water temperatures today dropped a few degrees, only in the low 70s. Uh, they'll stay in that range over the weekend. A scattered shower or a thunderstorm possible late tonight along the lakeshore. Low and mid 60s up north. Your thunderstorms are over for the time being. There could be one late tonight, upper 50s to low 60s. Similarly, here in the greater Grand Rapids area, we could see a late night shower or a storm. Overnight lows in the 60s. 13 on your side forecast. Advertise 82. We will be a little shy of that for the next seven or eight days. Good chance of showers and storms on Monday and again next Friday and then warming up at the end of next weekend. Well, there's some rain in West Michigan, but doesn't look like it's raining on meteorologist George Lessons out there right no, now. <laughs> looking pretty dry. Uh, uh, George, what do you think uh, about the rest of the weekend? How's that looking? Uh, looking very good. Uh, as we've been talking about all our guys, uh, the threat of severe weather is pretty much done here in Grand Rapids, and uh, that is all moving off to the east. Doesn't mean we might not get one late tonight, but pretty much the threat is over. 13 weather ball is blinking bright for perhaps another late night shower or a thunderstorm inside. It's also green. No change to the higher temperatures and humidity foreseen. The 13 weather ball is sponsored by LaFontaine Lincoln Grand Rapids. As the uh, sun came back out this afternoon, temperatures uh, skyrocketed out of the 70s. It even made low 80s here in southwest lower Michigan. Our average high is 82. We forecast 79, thinking the clouds and the showers would keep it down just a little bit. Nonetheless, uh, we're within our target. Uh, we are going to continue that hopefully here tomorrow. A lot of rain up north along and just south of US 10. That was that two areas of thunderstorms that moved through early in the afternoon. And then again, just a few hours ago, I uh, went out and looked at some of the higher rainfall totals. Big Rapids, an area just to the south and east of the airport, 2.66 inches. Colfax Township over an inch, also Pickerel Lake over an inch, almost an inch there in Butterknife. Rodney, you came in with about three quarters of an inch. Those storms are exiting the, the region. The greatest risk for severe weather is now from Lansing eastward, but we're watching this area of storms back here in Wisconsin and Minnesota that may arrive here later on tonight, but I think they'll be weakening as they go. There are the storms right now over toward the Alma area, and that's lining up pretty with uh, pretty good with our NAM model tonight. You can see those are zipping off to the south and east between now and about 
11 o'clock, there might be a scattered shower or storm, but uh, these are going to have to get going pretty quick, and these would be non severe. Later on tonight, there's that area of showers coming through. It might, uh, it will definitely be out of here by 7 o'clock in the morning, so lots of sunshine throughout the day tomorrow. Just a beautiful day. Humidity level still up just a bit, and I think even on Saturday night with the Perseid meteor shower, skies are going to remain mostly clear. Uh, mostly sunny then during the day on Sunday. No threat of any rain until Monday. That's when our next round will come. And you can see that on our daily precipitation model. About a half an inch is possible on Monday, maybe even very late Sunday night. I'm thinking like 5 o'clock in the morning and another chance late Thursday night and on Friday. Every Friday we get that long range outlook. Not sure this is actually going to happen. We have a higher chance for cooler temperatures toward the end of the month through the Labor Day holiday weekend, but an equal chance for more or less precipitation. Now, if you're headed out to Lake Michigan here tomorrow, you can expect those waves to only come down to around two footers throughout the day. Uh, not looking for any showers or thunderstorms throughout the day, just plenty of sunshine, especially the second half of the day with an onshore breeze. Forecast then looking for sunny skies, mid 70s, uh, northern part of the lakeshore area, uh, south end of the lake, upper 70s, 80 in Muskegon. Up north, you'll be in the upper 70s to near 80. A northwest wind kicking in again during the afternoon. And from Grand Rapids southward, we'll be up around 80 to the low 80s. 13 on your side forecast. Showers and storms Monday and again the following Thursday night and Friday. It does get humid again on Monday and next Friday and Saturday. But after next weekend, I think temperatures are going to warm up into the low and mid 80s.